Big 12, speaking of one of the best teams in the country, they've had a very inconsistent year. You're talking about Baylor. You're talking about Kansas. What is the handicap in the Big 12, BJ? Yeah, it's. I don't really have much interest in taking the top four uh, seeds. Kansas is is very weird. They've had a ton of close calls this season. They're they're obviously one of the best uh, offenses in the country. But you know, at two to one, obviously this is a you know <laughs> they're going to be playing in Kansas City, so it's essentially a home tournament for them. But at two to one, I have no interest in betting them. Baylor, they lost their best interior defender, Chichua, middle of the season, and they're also one of the worst teams at defending at the rim. So that's problematic for them. Texas tech is starting to fade down the stretch. One team I'm kind of looking at as a long shot is Oklahoma at 20 to one. They're starting to come on here. They've won three straight down the stretch and their first round matchup against Baylor is a really good one. So I just mentioned Baylor's one of the five worst teams in defending at the rim. Well, Oklahoma is sixth in the country in two point field goal percentage and around shooting around 60% on shot attempts at the rim. So it's a really good matchup for them here in the first round. And, you know, you obviously look at Texas then, Texas, I feel very similar to them. How I feel about Tennessee is that analytically they grade out really, really well in terms of defense and offense, but there are just times where you watch Texas and they just go through these shooting slumps that just take them completely out of the game. So they're one of the teams I'm going to potentially be avoiding. You know, Kansas also is one of the streakier teams uh, in, in the, honestly, in the whole country. So they could fall flat and lose here in the, in the second round, or they could, you know, breeze all the way through the tournament, but Oklahoma a team that's starting to kind of come on, especially at a good price of 20 to one with a pretty good match against Baylor in the first round. Uh, I think the Sooners do have a little bit of value here in the tournament. Stucky agree or disagree. Yeah, uh, I probably would disagree. It's going to be, it's, I think it's going to be hard for Oklahoma to get it done. Um, and then I think Baylor ends up walking to the final because that they're, they must be salivating for another. They lost twice to Texas tech this year in two close games and Texas tech's kind of headed in. There. I just don't trust their offense. But Kansas is very vulnerable. I, they, just if you watch them, there's just something that's just not right on the defensive end with this team. They can get bullied a little bit inside at times. TCU did that twice. TCU beat them bad at, at, at TCU. Then the net, they played two games in a row. Kansas, after getting embarrassed, comes home. They come out, the crowd insane, one of the best home court advantages in all college basketball. They go up double digits. TCU fights all the way back. That game went right down to the wire with – Mike Miles, one of the best players in the country. If you haven't seen him for TCU, he was in massive foul trouble the entire game. TCU, the number one offensive rebounding team in the country, just extremely physical. The, so, look, I think that they can beat Kansas in the semifinals. It's a, it's a good matchup for them. Miles is incredible. The problem is TCU, for whatever reason, it just didn't match up well with Texas during the regular season. They lost both meetings fairly easily. So it's like a little conundrum there. If you could find like 25, 30 to one on TCU, just three games in three days, I, I think that they can certainly make a run here um, because I think that they match up with, well, with Kansas. And who knows? Kansas could, could go down to Kansas State um, if Kansas State is hitting their threes. So, yeah, I think TCU is the sleeper. I think Baylor gets there, um, but Kansas is the vulnerable team. And you might hear a myth this year. You'll hear this every year around this time of year that it's hard to beat a team three times in. Uh, the conference tournaments, teams that swept the regular season. Over the past 30 years, teams that swept the regular season have actually covered at 52%, a 52% clip um, in the conference tournament. So that is a myth. Uh, just as, most of the time, there's a reason that the team got swept. It's because it's maybe not a great matchup. There are exceptions with injuries and things of that nature, uh, but just thought I'd throw that out there. So, yeah, if you're looking for – some of these are just fun, like, you know, 30 to 1, a 25 to 1. TCU doesn't shoot a lot of threes, which I don't like, uh, but they just get a ton of offensive rebounds. But some of these are fun. So if you want to throw a flyer on, you know, a four day tournament in the Big 12, which should be fun. Um, and for TCU, it's going to be a three day tournament. Yeah, I go with Horn Frogs. 